This is what Jeff and I do. One, two, three, <laughs> I hope somebody saw that. I wanted love. I needed love. Most of all. Most of all. It is 7.40 Thursday morning. Waiting for uh, Ryan is going to be pulling up any second and we're going to be heading to a, a film shoot. So a little behind the scenes of an impact marketing film shoot today. Uh, where, where are we? I was just going to say where we are, but I don't know where we're at. We're out, we're out, we're out in the middle of nowhere, but getting ready to do a film shoot. Look at that view. Game time. Game time. Boom pole, boom mic. Ryan's setting up the A cam. We're gonna do it on the front porch since it's so nice outside today. Beautiful weather, so give me one quick second. We're interviewing uh, Shirley Buzzo today. Sweet lady. She has a really, really, really interesting story um, about how she's overcome a few things to survive uh, with the help of one of our clients. So Ryan and I are up here on location this morning looking, looking forward to filming that. She's a sweetheart. All right. Christmas tree. Okay. I wanna, I wanna hear about it. So, um, let's start off kind of from the beginning, so people will have an idea who you are. That's awesome. She gets a little stronger. We're going to Gatlinburg. Great. Right. Shoot wrapped up. Ryan's over there. Yeah, I will. Got my hands full right now. <laughs> Vlog vlogging. We launched a website. Look, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mike gets I know that's going to do this. Oh my god! Don't do that! It's Luke! I'm eating. Carrot and vegetable. Have a little breakfast, Luke. I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm actually kind of hungry. I'm going to Starbucks right now to get a bacon gouda breakfast sandwich, flat white, double cupped with two sugars. That wasn't. Look at that. We do. We even have the same. Oh. We're dressed the same. I don't have the same pants. What the? F See you guys. Look at this guy. Some dedicated marketing right there. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Thank you. You already knew I was going to Starbucks. Running late to this meeting, and I just realized that I told my client that I would bring them coffee. I can't forget that. And I accidentally already got mine down in Morgantown, so I gotta run in here really fast. All right, I'm really late. I gotta get in here. I hope these coffees make up for how late I am to this meeting. Wow, this is really cool. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Hey, y'all take care. No problem. Um. So what's, uh, what other specific information other than the bottle size and then uh, the, the label design? Um, is there anything specific that you need right now to, to kind of grasp or? Uh, no, uh, other than that, then just uh, approximately ballpark quantity what you're looking at. Let's talk about excuses. I absolutely hate and have zero tolerance for excuses and the excuse that drives me the most insane is I don't have enough time for if you love art and painting but your excuse is you know with work and family I just don't have enough time to paint if you have a passion to start your own business but you have a full-time job you just don't have enough time or if in my industry, people that kind of know they should be doing social media, but they just don't have enough time with all the other things they have lined up in the day. You know that my day 
consists of zero downtime. My day is full from sun up to sundown. If you can see this, it's kind of blurry. My, my calendar is broken up to 15 to 30 minute gaps. A lot of people kind of write down a few things they want to get done during the day, but they don't audit their time. I have so much going on, more than just one job. Most people have one job. The more white space you have on the calendar, the worse off you're going to be. So here's my message, here's my thing. If you have something that you're passionate about that you want to do, whether it's become a better photographer, paint more art, um, spend more time with your kids, exercise more, start that business that you've been wanting to start forever but you simply don't have time. Take a look at your calendar, at your schedule. If you don't write out what you do during the day, do it for three days straight. Write out every single thing that you do during the day. Break your day up into 15 minute gaps. After three days, go back through your calendar and find all of the things that are not providing you value and figure out how you can cut those out. Now, if it's simply going out on the golf course on the weekend and relaxing, that's fine. That provides you value because you need to relax and recoup and recover. But if you see that you're spending 15 to 20 minutes a day, every single day on Pinterest or on YouTube, and you're not watching educational videos on YouTube and you're not getting value-driven articles on Pinterest, you're simply just finding recipes and goofing off more or less, what can you cut out? I can tell you one thing. Those 30 minutes or an hour of America's Got Talent or The Walking Dead or CSI is providing you zero value. Audit all of the bullshit that you do during the day and switch out the things that do not bring you value with things that will provide you value and can provide you value. Excuses help you in no way, shape, or form. And the one that I absolutely hate the most is I don't have time. Make time, my friends.